just drop directly by you. So we're working on that. You gotta move those feet, you gotta talk collectively. And again, and I'm not going away from we gotta rebound the ball. Having guys and then when Coach Bray came to you with, the, with this opportunity, obviously you known him well and worked with him. What made this, you know, a compelling chance and a you move know, you wanted to make? Well, we, we've worked together for 11 years. Though it's been, um, we've always included a five-minute, uh, a five-year sabbatical in there, you know. And uh, it's ironic, even uh, with the five-year sabbatical, each time we've returned, it's um, been returning from the University of Dayton, which is a great program and a lot of success. But, um, you know, Notre Dame's been a great place for myself and my family. You know, I, I know you guys and, um, you know, when you've been a place this long, there's a certain level of attachment to it, and you want to see it being successful. And, um, you know, a couple of former players uh, indirectly found a way to give their opinion when they heard that I may be coming back, which I appreciate it. And um, I want to see us continue to be successful. On and off the court, we get great young people here. Um, you know, in answering your question about you know coming back, um, it's kind of been my, and I've not shared it with many people. Um, I think it's a great university, and I've always been committed to the mission here in terms of being successful off the court in the classroom as well as between the lines. Um, there's a part out there that, and I love college football. You know, people want to say it's a football school. Um, and I like to feed off of that football game's experience and the spirit of it, but also we can play basketball here also. And we've shown that we can do that at a consistent level. So um, that keeps my, uh, keeps me on edge, keeps my adrenaline going. And um, I'm looking forward to you know, continue to work through this summer, and then we'll get back in the fall. But we're in our early stages right now, this journey. But um, I've enjoyed working with this group. It's been a neat group to work with. We got some experience, especially on the perimeter, and we got to continue to grow our front line right now in terms of preparing them for what's about to come this coming season. I asked the players about what's technically different about the defense, and invariably they come back to effort. So I imagine it's, it's a combination of defensive philosophy, but it starts with effort. Yeah, it's, uh, you can have all these terms. I call it clinic talk. You have all these terms and <laughs> you have these different schemes, but at the end of the day, um, it starts with a certain level of intensity, effort as you call it, but I always say, I'm not here to coach effort. That's gotta be a given. That should be a given. That's a given yeah. right there. But all these other things you add to it, that's what we do as coaches. The effort piece, it's going to be on them. And um, it's not something that we need to be repetitive in terms of talking about effort or seeing like they're up. 